Big Cat, you there? Yeah. Hey, put Darren on real quick. Huh? Put Darren on real quick. <laughs> I was just called. I, I, I was just calling to apologize. I, I didn't. I didn't realize I misinterpreted the nature of your relationship. I'm just calling to be a bigger man and apologize. I appreciate that, and guess what? I should apologize too because I didn't realize um, I went on a show last night, Radio.com. I didn't realize that was. Uh, what? 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 What show? Yeah, I had no. Uh, the this betting show. I'm friends. You with better, you guys. bet. Well, that's the one guy we actually yeah. like. We yeah, actually no, like we, we like yeah. Alex Costa. He's, he's, he's the little Alex Jones. Yeah. We like him. Yeah. His Alex. name is Nick. His name is Nick. But that's okay. Oh, I called him Alex uh, Costos because we call him little Alex. He Jones. sounds like little Alex Jones. That's why we like him. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, I actually know him personally, so he asked me to come on, and then I that's was uh, forgiven. You know, immediately after, everyone was like an intercom show, and I was like, uh oh, here we go. Okay. Well, then, um, then we, so, we were both wrong. We were both wrong. We're both wrong. I'll clear any future intercom uh, appearances with you. Okay, I don't fine. think there's any show I'd ever go on except that one. Fine. Um, and right. yes, Darren Ravel, I I hate him. Okay. I used to be friend what friendly happened? with him. Uh, well, it's complicated. I mean, he initially was kind of cool because he played along. And, uh, you know, we have our one-on-one -on -one game that we played like seven years ago. Where I saw I that video. 11 and nothing. Right. Yep. I saw that terrible. Video. Right. The terrible athlete. Yeah. And then uh, over the years, like he just, he wants to play both sides of it. He wants the attention and love and admiration. Most. I hate that the most. Of the stoolies. Yeah. But he also is like, you know, he'll, he'll like essentially look for our admiration and to be in cool with us. And then he'll be like, yeah, but Barstool is a bunch of bullies and it's bad for uh, people's mental health. Or, you know what I mean? Like he'll just, he'll just blow in the wind with whatever he's thinking. Correct. So, yes. I hate him. Yeah, I, I I really don't like him. And he he also was like, he, he, when he got hired by the Action Network, he he like wrote a bunch of articles saying like that he and I were going to start doing content together because Chernin owns both companies. And uh -huh. I was just like, what are you what are you talking about, dude? Oh, like, really? I'm not doing that. shit with you. Yeah. So well, he's a zero. He's, I mean, he's not he's not entertaining or anything. No, he makes. He makes gambling not cool, which is like, <laughs> it's hard to do. It's hard to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, all right. Um, no. and, I, and I would say right before you called back, I said, like, quite in, and I let you know, I quite enjoyed the McConaughey interview. It was awesome. He's, uh, he's, he's definitely up there for, like, coolest dudes alive. And definitely Probably conservative. Bruce, Bruce Warren. Bruce Warren. Yeah. Is he? He always uh -oh. he said he said people should accept the outcome of the election, which makes him a conservative. He also went on Fox News yesterday as yeah. well. Yeah. A, a liberal would have said no, pee in a bottle and get ready to go throw it at somebody. Right. Well, now don't don't ruin don't ruin them for Dan. If he finds out he's a conservative, he's not going to like him anymore. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> we don't want, we don't want, that's the way liberals think. Hold <laughs> on, what? Yes, I like Steve. I'm that's like true. one of the only people in the world <laughs> who like Steve Robinson. That's true. I, I find McConaughey's uh, career. I mean, I, I'm way more. Oh, well, you might be, but like this is where you guys do a good job is because I would have like drilled down and gone movie by movie, and like he 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 did the right thing. Like he likes talking about college football and the Wolf of Wall Street stuff and the and the fucking the idea of the journey. I'm not, I'm not sure I believe that he didn't have like electricity for 12 days but that's okay like he, he, he yeah he, he was a good he had a yeah. you could tell he had a good time he would he wouldn't have had this is where you're better at this than i am in many ways i'm better at it than you are we both had our own levels of success with no reason to look at the numbers <laughs> but the uh but like i would i wouldn't have got i would have been like there's no way i, I would have drilled down on i wouldn't have believed it. it's a better move to just like let the guy be a fucking you know free-spirited lunatic right and also i, I you know i always I'm playing to who I am in that, like, I'm not a huge movie guy. I like movies. I watch movies, but I'm not, I'm, I've never been like, a, let's discuss the next movie coming out or, you know, like uh, I have, I, I don't have any really like strong opinions on movies overall. Right. So it would have been weird for me to be like movie by movie because I probably haven't seen like half of his movies, you know, to be totally honest with you. Uh, but yeah, he was a very cool guy. What, what Steve, I have a question for you since I got you guys. Uh, is this retweet button thing? Is this real? Is this conspiracy theory? I hate this fucking thing. Down? I mean, have you tried? Have you tried <laughs> retweeting? The Twitter is putting its there. It's well, election interference, is what it is. It is. It is. Hunter. Well, no. I, for me, it still is the old one because I'm marked as a liberal online. Oh, yes. is that right? Correct. Correct. I mean, yeah. That. Like honestly, yeah. honestly, yeah. If, you, if you don't think that Twitter is biased against conservatives and is trying to influence the election, I just can't help you because we're living in different realities. The, the, like Dan, Dan, the New York Post is still locked out of their Twitter account for re reporting factually true information that no one is disputing. 
I haven't. I I have to be totally honest with you. I have not followed like I just, any. I, of I, 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 I funny how that works. I was just driving into work this morning. I was thinking, I wish I could live in Big Cat's world or Jared Carabas's world and just be like well, watching, watching don't, baseball and don't gambling. Don't compare him to Carabas. I mean, no, I'm just saying, like in that yeah. world where you just don't care because I'm I'm looking at fucking Twitter. I'm like, ah, these fucking liberals. You know what, Why are they trying to ruin you know everything? You know Big Cat does. He just drives in the work. He's he's looking at some scores. He's got Nora Jones on. He's happy as can be. I know it's a peaceful way to live. I may, maybe I just need to withdraw my heart from politics. is drenched in wine, but you'll I'm be aware. on my mind forever. I'm aware. I'm aware of these things. I just know that they're completely and utterly out of my control in every sense of well, the so's word. A, so's, a, so's the score of a football game. Yeah, well, no. Have you seen like some of the things I've done? Changing seats, Rally you know, cast, getting, true. standing that's up, yeah, getting point. negative. That's yeah, come on. So, like, point. if I flip my shirt inside out, will Twitter all of a sudden become yes. a neutral the, arbiter the neuro- of political discussion? Yes, it will. It will. I mean, all these guys, like all these social media platforms, are crazy, and they're all like, they all have a political they're bias. Crazy so I left. agree with you. The crazy left. What? Okay, but well, except Parlor. I mean, that that shit's popping right now. Yeah, and there's like twelve I get an people. Email every day. <laughs> there's like twelve <laughs> people on Parlor. There's all, all. You know what? Honestly, I think Dan's part of it. I think I, all Parlor. I think all Parlor is is like fucking like Lindsey Graham by himself, just tweeting to the world. <laughs> like what? What is Parlor? Well, I know Lindsey, what it is. Lindsey, I, Lindsey Graham, Hugh Hewitt. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. It's know, just Dan Bongino. Well, if Trump if Trump quit Twitter today and went to Parlor, Parlor would take off. No. You think sure, so? sure. I would. don't. Uh, sure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at the beginning of his presidency. I'm not no. saying. I'm not saying it will be huge. But I'm saying it will be a huge boost. It would be a huge boost. It'd be the biggest boost that they could get, but it would not take off in the same way just because of like uh, path dependency. The, uh, Twitter has such a huge advantage in terms of building up like the infrastructure of media on Twitter. People rely on Twitter for what? reporting, for getting yeah. information, all that kind of stuff. See, I I disagree. I think the reason why it wouldn't take off is that ultimately why I am so disinterested in politics. Well, there's just two things. One is I think the whole game is rigged. No, it's hard, but the whole game is rigged. Says the guy doing Uh, the rigging. True. Whoever, whoever, whoever. Oh, I do the rigging. I have, I have nothing to do with the rigging. Uh, you, try to, you, try, you, you try, you did your best to silence a uh, conversation with the president within your own company. Is that's, that, true. Is that yeah. that's true. Yes, yes, that's true. Threatening the quit. True. So the whole game is rigged. I hate politicians pretty much, uh, no matter what side they come from. And two, uh, people who are super into politics and Steve, I do like you, are humorless. To the core, true. Like oh, they have on. no come on. sense of humor whatsoever. What like, about, so what if you want to look Tucker at Tucker Carlson, do you think Tucker Carlson? <laughs> so now, so now, so now, so now you're gonna tell me Sean Hannity's not hilarious? What are you out of your fucking mind? No, well, I, I agree. I agree that there are some people who can become close. so political that they don't have a sense I, of humor. I, I, sometimes sure. at night, I'll just put on my favorite Rachel Maddow comedy album. And I'll just listen to it before I go to bed. It's hilarious. They, it's great, right? They think they're funny. Like Keith Olbermann thinks he's funny, but he's absolutely oh, not. He is such so, a douche. Uh, He's such a douche, and so I think that if you if you took if you, if, you, if if you know you made it basically a, a political social media app, people would be so burnt out by it because it's it's I see it and again. This is both sides. This is far left, far right. Well, like they're all like, you can but, 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 one, one, one second. But one second. Like, is Clay Travis doing well with that thing? Like, I have no idea. I saw uh, Whitlock interviewed Trump yesterday. Like, is that doing well? I, I have no idea, but I know that he is a perfect example of someone who is not funny. Like well, no, 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 he's, he's, he's you know what he is. He's a radio Johnny who stumbled onto an idea and is run with it. To his credit, I mean, it's it's a it's an act, but he's run with it. Yeah, and and to answer your question, Steve, yes, uh, Trump, Trump is it, has a sense of humor. Yeah, no, yeah. Funniest, funniest, he says no funniest, f- funniest president, funnier than Reagan. You think, Steve? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what about uh, what's his name? What, what, what was it? Gerald Ford got stuck in the bathtub? Uh, who was that? No, that, no, that was, was uh, Taft. Guy. That was William Howard Taft. Yeah. Joe Ford, I, Joe Ford I mean, that's more mistake. physical humor. Taft, I don't think, got stuck in the bathtub on purpose. But the idea of Trump is like, even when Trump's not funny, the idea of Trump, I know it drives people crazy, is funny. Like, like him like, dancing at those rallies? It's right. funny. It's just funny. Like, we, right. Well, how about this? How about this? Uh, before I let you go, I'm sure you got you to go to your show, right? Uh, yeah, I got like a, yeah, okay. I got a bunch of shows. We had, we had a, oh, oh sorry, I mean to get in your way. Now you got a radio.com. Well, Prime's fucking... coming. No, Prime's coming today. Prime's coming. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. well, so, well, fine. We'll we had, send our best to yeah. Prime. We had a guest on. Uh, I will. You think Prime would come on with us or no? Yeah. Oh, we should have him on, Steve. No, I don't should. Th- I think it would be confu- he'd be confused, but yeah. Why? Absolutely. Oh, I'd have a good conversation. We had we had this guy Jonathan Zimmerman on today, who was defending Jeffrey Tubin. And by the way, I said on the show yesterday that I think you are underselling us. I think you have a because uh, you're a decent sized guy. I think you have a decent sized penis. I really do. No. 
No. Seven why inches, I, I say. Why would I lie? Well, because I, I, think, lie I think that's a good move. I think it's sort of like a, a big cat, like nice guy. No, like sort of like no, underplaying no. it. Like, oh my God, when somebody sees it, wow, that's bigger than I thought. You don't want to intimidate the other guys in the office. Yeah, like, but anyway, like, uh, no, we, I have, I have, if you look at like my, uh, my, uh, 23 and me, I have, I think I'm like maybe a quarter Russian. And it shows when you, when I'm naked, it's, it's a small penis and a big belly. Do Russians have famously small penises? I think so. Oh, is that I'm right? Pretty sure. It's an oddly racist well, thing. Well, the, the, the fatter so one, <laughs> the, the fatter ones, maybe. Oh, the fatter one? <laughs> oh, maybe. Could be. So we had this guy yeah. out today who wrote an op-ed in the, in the New York Daily News saying that, uh, that the reason that people are, are harping on this Tubin story is because masturbation is taboo, which I think is ridiculous. I mean, uh, we, we went, so we went back and forth with the guy. He was all right. But, I mean, I, you're y even younger than me. I don't think anybody thinks masturbation is taboo anymore. No, not at all. It's actually probably, like, if, if we want to go the Steve Robinson route, like, uh -huh. it's probably to normalize in our society and it's the corruption of like you know american civilization is that we're all walking around jerking off all the time uh, well i mean i think that's I, well i mean you're, are you still are you old enough that you started masturbating before the internet yeah of course okay so but like, i also remember the evolution of the internet where it's like um i think it was free ones.com was the old one which was basically just pictures right. it was like it was basically a magazine uh, right there's yes. no videos uh right. But yeah, I remember. Yeah, uh, it was it was um, stable. Um, I want to say Pam Anderson. Pam right. Anderson was huge in Carmen Electra. Yeah, huge. Were three of the big ones. Oh, and what was the Victoria uh, Silva set? Is that, oh, was she that was big. Yep, she was big. What that was, was a right. big one for me. And yeah. even like uh, yeah. like Sable and like the wrestling girls and stuff like that. Yeah. What, what was the What yeah. was the one that I would look at? Like you down like, actually download it on the Kazaa computer or LimeWire. Yes. Yeah, those are the ones where you didn't know mm -hmm. what the fuck nope. you were downloading. Your fucking computer would 12, light up, but you were like <laughs> twelve viruses and one minute. And I, and I, half I would literally just sit there, my pants on my ankles, <laughs> rubbing my like thirty seconds, eighteen seconds, forty two seconds. What the fuck? It's going backwards. Like you were all excited. It took like eight hours to yeah. download. Yeah. You get home from school and open it up. Is this downloaded yet? Yeah, well, yeah. And that was when it was taboo. Like when right. you're sitting or sitting in front of uh, your TV trying to watch scrambled Cinemax. Yes. And being like, I think I see a breath there. That's, that's weirdo behavior. Now it's just like, whatever. You can do it yeah, anytime you want. And there's, you know. But I, would say, but I would say it's the equivalent of our generation's walking in the snow, walking the snow uphill to school. Like we could tell our kids. You can tell your, your son when he's old enough that you – you know, masturbated when it was fucking work. You had to use your brain. You had to fucking make it happen. I used the fucking Sports Illustrated swimsuit. You know, I used, mag you know, fucking Sears catalogs. Wild on E, which didn't Wild, have... Uh, <laughs> Wild on E. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, on E. Brooke Burke, I think it was. Yes, uh, yes. That was an awesome show. There you go. Or uh, there was, uh, I mean, Howard Stern, when, when sure. Howard Stern was on E, and he had to blurt out, you know, Boobs, yeah. uh, porn stars. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. use your imagination. There you go. So. All right, well, go do your fucking radio.com shows. We'll talk to you later. All right, thank All right. you for the apology. And, thank you for and the apology. I'm happy you, yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. Good. And Steve, good luck in the next two weeks. Try not to lose your mind, okay? Okay, you too, buddy. We'll talk to you. All right, okay, bye. There you go. Dan Katz joins us.